report risks generated by an artificial intelligence are all the rage right now. The stylized artsy pictures are appealing to our vanity. The app Lancer AI is even topping app download charts in many countries. Many users are happy to pay for an AI generated portrait in a superhero or rockstar style. And they're great to post on social media. But a lot of women, among them US actress Megan Fox, complain about heavily sexualized results. Why is that so? But first, how do apps like Lancer work? With Lancer, users can create their own magic avatar by uploading 10 to 20 selfies to the app. The more diverse, the more interesting the results. Once your photos are on the app server, an AI software analyzes them and generates completely new images in different categories like stylish, sci-fi or anime. This takes about 20 minutes. To do that, Lancer draws information from an open source dataset named Lion 5B. The database is put together by scraping and analyzing pictures from the internet. Lion 5B is basically creating a huge library of images of all kinds by putting labels on them. For example, man, woman, Caucasian or Latina. And that's where the problems start. Lancer's results in general vary in quality. I'm not especially fond of this one-legged version of me and I'm not a big fan of Hannibal Lecter in space either. But there also seems to be a huge gap in what kind of images Lancer generates for men and women. Men often get flattering portraits of themselves as astronauts and superheroes. A lot of female users reported pics of themselves in nude and highly sexualized cartoonish portraits. We put that to the test. I compared my pictures to the ones of my colleague Adriana. I'm a white European male. While the selfies I uploaded weren't actual beauty shots, the results I got were mainly very manly versions of astronauts and superheroes. In most pictures I could recognize myself and there was no naked skin anywhere. My colleague Adriana comes from Colombia. She was confused that the app presented her in a very European look in most pictures, with wider skin, brunette hair and even blue eyes. In some photos she was dressed in tight sexy jeans and many results showed a lot of skin, even though none of the selfies she had uploaded did that. All in all, she couldn't recognize herself at all. While Adriana didn't get any nudes in her results, our little comparison does confirm some of the criticism that has recently surfaced online. Lancer draws on some pretty sexist and racist stereotypes. So who's to blame for these results? Artificial intelligence is always only as good as the data set it is relying on. Lancer seems to have worked with unfiltered images Lion 5B collects from all parts of the internet. And because the internet is overflowing with images of naked or barely dressed women and pictures reflecting sexist or also racist stereotypes, the data set contains a disproportional amount of these kinds of images. Lancer thus reproduces and enhances bias that is already existing in our society. Programmers of datasets could counteract this by applying certain filters. One possibility is removing images that are repeated very often. That way certain stereotypes could be eliminated. But app developers are responsible as well. Lancer's developers have made a choice that male avatars get to appear as astronauts and superheroes while female avatars are fairy queens and cute Japanese kawaii girls. You might say, hey that's just an app, relax, but for me Lancer is a very good example for the ethical implications that come with AI application. I think we as a society have to discuss thoroughly before we let AI make even more and bigger decisions for us. And we need more transparency and clear rules on how datasets are being put together. What do you think of AI avatars and apps like Lancer? Let us know.